hi guys so I wanted to come to you with today's video which is kind of like random kind of not random but I started my garden my vegetable garden probably the first time was a no the first time was like in ground and that was probably five years ago and each year I try different stuff um, for the last couple of years, I have been using the containers, container gardening, and this year is the first year that I decided to do raised beds, and it has so far so good. It's been really successful. Last year and the year prior was really successful as well with using containers for my garden, and this year I decided to plant tomatoes as well as peppers and squash there are a couple of items not squash cucumbers so my garden for some reason like sometimes I plant my garden and I kind of forget about it living in New England it's really for me I don't have like a large space to start the seeds inside so a lot of times what happens for me is which can kind of be an excuse I start them and kind of like forget about them I forget to water them so this year I purchased a couple of plants usually I purchase my plants from a nursery a couple of towns away this year I decided to depot during their Labor Day sale I believe or Memorial Weekend sale and the plants that I have purchased from Home Depot have been thriving so I definitely will cater to the idea next year of purchasing my plants from them again but I am struggling with my pepper plants. I'm not sure if it's the amount of sun that the raised beds, like the area that the raised beds are in. So that is something that I am going to look into. But my tomato plants are definitely, definitely thriving. And I just wanted to do this video because I plan on inserting the video of my garden in it. So you can kind of get an idea of the space I'm working a really small space this year but I want to say with my container garden I have probably had up to 20 plants planted at the same time in the container so I this year has been like a learning experience I do I do plan on possibly extending my raised bed garden next year. I'm not sure what I am going to plant, but I did have a question for the gardeners out there. What are some, living in New England, what are some of the vegetables that I can plant next year? Well, some of the vegetables that I can plant this year for the fall. So I did start planting, I know it's kind of like a July or like September, October thing. Well, September where you can start planting your fall crops. July in September or like July in the August. Between now and like September is when you can start planting your crops, I believe, for the fall. So I am definitely wanting, I do plan on planting more crops for the fall time. So if you have any suggestions of items that are super easy to plant for the fall time, please feel free to leave your suggestions in the comment section. But for this, the purpose of this video is definitely to give you an idea and a kind of overview of the items that I have planted, the items that are working. So far, what is working for my raised bed garden, and it could be a lot of like what, you know, how I strategically place the items inside of the raised beds. The tomatoes have been doing great. The cucumber is only like one poor cucumber plant. It has been doing well as well. And my pepper plants, for some reason, just have not been able to get it together. I have not been able to do like any research of it as of right now. But if you see like something that I could possibly be doing wrong, please let me know. But I hope video kind of gave you a glimpse of what my garden looks like because I do get questions of what type of garden plants do you plant? Because I do put on Snapchat or Instagram of my vegetable garden of the crops that I have harvested from my garden. So I do get questions and I wanted to share with you guys what I was doing this year, what's working for me, what hasn't worked for me. And right now the only vegetable raised bed gardening is my peppers, which is kind of like bittersweet because I do love having peppers. But my tomato plants are definitely thriving. So if you have any suggestions of fall crops, please. I know this information is in the back or placed on the back of the packet. So I have been doing a little bit of research, but not like extended research. But if you have like any vegetable ideas that are super easy to maintain, 
please you want to list some items that require a lot of sun and some that don't require a lot of sun please feel free to leave that information as well in the comment section but i do want to thank you guys or even anyone on youtube that i could follow that has a garden vlog or a garden channel please feel free to leave the information in the comment section but i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video please feel free to like subscribe and share and i hope you guys have a wonderful day